कुछ होने में और बहुत कुछ होने में इतना सा फर्क है एक बार सोच के छोड़ देने में और लग के कर दिखाने में मान लेने में कि जिंदगी ऐसे ही कटेगी और सुबह चार बजे उठ के सोचने में ये अभी तो बस शुरुआत है किसी मैगजीन को हाथ में लेने में और उसी मैगजीन के कवर पेज पे होने में इतना सा ही तो फर्क है वीआईपी सीट में और उसकी पिछली सीट में ये इतना सा ही तो फर्क है वो जिसका मैदान ही खुला आसमान है वही कल जमीन पर तो था पूछोगे तो बताएगा वो पंछी ये एक दायरे में सिमटने में और पूरी दुनिया को दायरा बनाने में बस इतना सा फर्क है इतना कितना है इतना है या इतना है जो नापेगा वो जाने कि जहां धरती और आसमान मिलते नानकुर से दूर अगर मगर शायद से दूर वहां भी दोनों में फर्क बस इतना सा है धरती और सातवें आसमान में फर्क बस इतना सा है ये एक अंतर प्रेरणा ये हमारी आपकी हम सब की अंतर प्रेरणा एक कदम एक छलांग एक बाजी एक गहरी सांस और एक ललकार खुली हवाओं में कि हां मैं बना हूं उन फिजाओं के लिए कि हां मैं बना हूं उन ऊंचाइयों के लिए जो ऊंची तो बहुत है पर नामुमकिन भी नहीं क्योंकि मुमकिन और नामुमकिन में बस इतना सा फर्क धूप छाओ में फर्क बस इतना सा तो बस चलिए फ्रेंचाइज इंडिया के साथ ये फर्क मिटा देते हैं फ्रेंचाइज इंडिया ट्वेंटी इयर्स ऑफ आइडियाज a very good afternoon to each and every participants viewers and friends who have joined us today for our business opportunity over chai webinar series this is the series which we have started last year in may where our aim and objective was to create and to develop give you the objective of having maximum business opportunity so that you take the right and the conscious decision of selecting the best brand for you franchise india is 23 year old franchise company which is providing day in day out all the business solutions to potential business buyers and we are among the top 10 management consulting companies in india because we have helped more than 78000 investors in getting the business solutions from our side with this introduction it is our privilege to welcome and invite management team of franchise india gorav sir and sonia ma'am for this particular webinar this series is hosted by both of them and it is our privilege that they'll be sharing their insights view points and suggestions with each one of us this is just a digital representation of the business opportunity which team franchise india has got for you we do not endorse any particular brand the brand and the business opportunity proposal which we which we have got for you today is assorted cuisine the brand the leading fnb brand and today they are offering five different model so that you get the correct and the complete understanding about the brand and we have invited ms dalia day and renal to talk about the brand but before i formally invite them to present their business model uh, may i invite sonia ma'am to talk about our different initiatives and events which we have planned for you thank you so much sonia ma'am for joining in today over to you ma'am thank you archna and uh, welcome uh, talia ji for coming on the webinar and friends this is a very specialized uh, cuisine that we'll talk about today and i leave uh, the details with dalia ji to come and present to all of you i'll just take a minute to tell you about the bharat franchise show this is a daily show that we do 7 o'clock sharp every evening 100 days uh, show and uh, today uh, we are on 25th so we already concluded 25 cities and this show will go on for the next 75 days uh, back to back where we cover all the micro cities micro markets across india where we bring in opportunities uh, which are relevant for the market uh, and also we ensure that uh, we bring in opportunities uh, which are unique in that category one and second i would also like to say we have started a new series uh, called generation x which is gen x uh, where the first event is happening tomorrow which is uh, saturday 
and we are bringing you some leading brands uh, in the retail and some of the brands which are uh, coming tomorrow are chic which is a female apparel brand we have vision express which is a leading eyewear company and kalabar which is again india's leading uh, cosmetic brand so these are the opportunities that we bring to you and uh, this would again be every saturday series where every saturday we'll bring you gen next uh, opportunities from retail food wellness education so we start with it uh, tomorrow we'll also share with you all the information in the due course of time where you can register yourself uh, for this uh, event and as always i request all of you whenever you come and attend our webinars bring your inner circle your friends family who can come and also understand and help you evaluate these opportunities over to you ashna as we uh, and i'll request ashna to formally now invite uh, dalia ji to present uh, the business opportunity sure so thank you so much sonia ma'am for sharing insights about bharat franchise show and our tomorrow's uh, generation next retail franchise show now it is our privilege to invite ms dalia and mr minnal to talk about the brand if i talk about their background they have a rich experience they have worked in different banks Dalia, she is a founder, and she is taking care of the entire creative and marketing part for the brand. Whereas Mrinal, he is a co-founder and taking care of the entire finance vertical. Thank you so much, both of you, for joining in today to talk about your great brand, your great initiative which you have started. So, may I request both of you to start with the formal presentation? Hi, hi. Thank you so much, Sonia, uh, to giving us this opportunity. and first of all i want to thank franchise india to give us a very nice uh, platform to talk about our brand and uh, our business prospect so we are really thankful and we also thankful to sonia ma'am so uh, first we are uh, we have presently uh, five brands but uh, today we are only talking about our two brand which we want to franchise now uh, that is one is the bahanam and uh, another is the bowl out so first i want to sorry daily watch and first i want to share the screen uh, then i will start uh, talking about the brand and all <clears throat> so these two brands we are pre today presenting uh, one is the bahanam uh, this is a biryani and mughlai brand and one is the daily bhoj uh, that is a pure bengali authentic food brand so we says daily bhoj is a comfort bengali food and uh, these two brands are there so so first i'm coming with the bahanam thing in the last year uh, at the time of the pandemic with the situation is very tough uh, that time we conceptualized this brand uh, we are in kolkata and kolkata people have a very fond of the biryani thing so we uh, conceptualized uh, this thing with a kolkata style biryani and again we thought we want to give something new to our kolkata people and then uh, we uh, started a different type of r and d with the different royal foods which is now no kolkata restaurant will serve like uh, mood musallam or if i am talking about uh, jarda is a one type of very royal desserts every muslim family have when they have any or any occasions like marriage or something like that so this type of food and also uh, some different type of uh, rolls we are introducing in our menu and uh, when we started this in last september and after that it will be come with a very good response uh, from our customer and they appreciated our food and all and if i'm talking about the bahanam thing uh, the main uh, we planned the bahanam is like that way because there are so many player in biryani in kolkata so our specialty i can say this is we make a very different type of combos and uh, that is very much appreciated by our customer uh and it's a very pocket friendly thing and nowadays uh, for the present scenario every people are working from home or sometimes they want to do little bit of party to change their mood and all so it's not possible to go out and have a uh, food in a 
a restaurant or something like that so that's why they always prefer a good family combo or might be a good combo they can bring to their home and have enjoy with the family and friends so uh, we just focused on that and uh, like that way we prepare our different types of pocket friendly combos and one of the best part we think uh, in our every food we always cook individually uh, to reduce the wastage as well as the enhance the taste so for if you are talking about our biryani for each and every biryani we have a single dump process so this is one of the more interesting thing we can process with our chef how to reduce the uh, wastage because nowadays uh, the thing is totally different and uh, cost management is one of the big part how you give the good food value in a low cost so so that's we are doing with the bahana if i go through our menu it's a very compact menu it's not so much elaborated but it's a very compact and uh, that's why people also love that so we have a biryani's uh, gravy sides like chaap korma rezala which is a very common and popular and lovable items in kolkata also kebabs rolls and the dessert now if i'm talking about the rolls we have a basically kebab rolls so that is the thing not the common rolls like chicken rolls or mutton rolls which is normally that is a street food popular in the kolkata but we are uh, specialized with uh, chicken reshmi kebab roll so it's a totally kebab and roll and we make it little bit uh, uh, tastier and less oil so this thing is happening and uh, uh, we have a uh, three model presently for the bahana one is the home delivery thing take away and the indoor seating we already have a seating of a 30 seater restaurant and which is uh, uh, nowadays getting more popularity and if i'm talking about the customer view uh, because we also uh, in our delivery thing and you see that there is a good rating in delivery for the dining as well as as a very new brand if i am talking about it's just uh, started in last year so we have already 3.9 delivery reviews in zomato so these are the thing and this is a few pictures of our foods like uh, there is a biryani chaap and is a house special uh, gandharaj uh, fish kebab we also have a burani gol uh, which is a uh, very popular in bangladesh and it's a very uh, refreshing drinks and it's help to digest the heavy foods so we have that thing and some few photos from our delivery and these are our press release and uh, we have a good uh, also reviews as well as uh, we have a regular basis press release to know customer about our brand and we also launch different types of offers so that is uh, shown over here now i am coming with our uh, another brand that is called delhi bhoj uh, and as we are bengalis we are very close to the bengali foods so delhi bhoj is a concept uh, basically that is also conceptualized last year in the middle of the lockdown that time we thought we want to serve good quality food to our esteemed customers in a very pocket friendly manner and in bengali uh, we prefer our lunch or dinner is like a bhoj that means there are several menu should be there so then we conceptualized uh, in a different types of thalis where minimum items is five or six items we have in a thali and a very pocket friendly manner is a start from 145 rupees and nowadays if you buy a very good quantity and very good tasty and hygienic meal 145 it's nothing uh as per the other respected brand in the kolkata and uh, this is the one of the best usp and also we follow over there for the individual menu we cooked the individual item for each and every menu uh, so that's give up very fresh fruits and it's a home cooking style and uh, the name itself says it's a daily bhoj that means you can have this bhoj every day so that's why we conceptualize the name the daily bhoj and uh, we also very much acceptable we already received three award from times of india we also get the times food awards uh, for daily bhoj as well as times uh, delivery icon award and also uh, uh, this is there is a very good reviews from the one of the renowned critics shalmuli mukherjee from the times of india so we are very much happy with this brand
now i am coming with the what is the cuisine so it's a daily bhoj is a totally a purely uh, bengali authentic bengali food in a home cooking style and uh, there is a elaborate menu and when we start this brand uh, we have a very uh, uh, small type of thalis like five courses or six courses now we have a 13 course 14 course and 15 course there's a huge thalis or options are there because in bengali they love to have food and also happy to feed people so we in a different occasions we launch different uh, high values as well as elaborate menus uh, for our customers and that is highly appreciated by them and if you are generalize uh, the uh, that is the average cost for the two people for our restaurant that is 600 uh, for a dining purpose and we also have a very good breakfast thalis which is very much popular uh, in uh, our city that is different uh, daily uh, breakfast things which is not people are every day able to made in the home because now all people are maximum working so that is also helpful to them and we also have in our delivery take away and indoor settings and uh, we have a very good uh, delivery reviews also in the zomato so that is the another point and these are the few photos uh, <clears throat> which we deliver to our customer so this is the food photos and uh, these are our press release <clears throat> sorry and one more thing uh, last year in the times food and nightlife award we also get the best uh, entrepreneur uh, for the year uh, for our three brands uh, daily bhoj banam as well as for the <clears throat> other one another brand so these are the achievement till yet we have and we are very happy because we go uh, slow and steady and people are appreciating us so that is the we think this is a little bit of achievement for us <clears throat> sorry so as uh, this is a uh, background for us uh, myself dalia de and mainly i am taking care of the uh, the designing part the culinary thing the sop the standardization of the food taste and uh, for that we need a little bit of r and d and all so that's we do and uh, there is also our whole team we have a uh, two to three chefs they are also helping out on that and the mr menal shikdar he is also taking care of the full financial things how to we operate operational thing as well as the marketing part so and he is also as a co-founder so this uh, this way we are now managing uh, the company now i am coming with uh, a certain data so that is very much important when you go for any investment or something like you have to have a certain market study so then you can understand this will be right or wrong or something like that if i am talking about the indian biryani market so there are if you are aggregate the full thing there are restaurant chain as well as the stand alone restaurant as we know that now india is changing with the food industry and all so there are 90% is the stand alone restaurant and also there are 10% of the chain restaurant so this type of is the present scenario and uh, now for the due to the lockdown and more people are working from home so the frequency of the expenditure on the food uh from uh, having food from outside of the home that will be increased because when you are work from home your workload is much more uh, higher so when you go to the office you have a certain time to chat or little bit of free time but when you are in the home and doing the work then you have a so many work load and pressure so people are prefer to having food you just order from swiggy or zomato or or direct from the restaurant so nowadays uh, the cloud kitchen concept or you can say the dog kitchen concept is going because more people are ordering from outside and uh, previously there are restaurants are open so that's why people for the weekend or somehow they go outside and having their food and all but now they prefer to bring the food for the security purpose for their health as well as um, they have a food with the family uh, and this thing is happening so if i'm talking about the four pillars of the growth uh, so there is a population disposal income food service industry opportunity and dine out frequency <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> sorry and you see that uh, nowadays 
uh, in the from the last year there is a, a growth in the delivery kitchen is become so much higher as i told you previously that people are having much more food from the outside and also the office goers people are prefer to dine out because they have a time schedules and they have other responsibilities so sometimes they are not able to cook in the home so if i uh, see that uh, day to day thing so the industry is growing and for the if i am uh, talking about our business growth from the last year we have a consistency growth in each and every month so if you have a certain and that growth for our company it's around uh, 25 to 30% in this pandemic situation and for any business this type of growth is i think a uh, little bit of appreciating because nowadays the every industry is affected and something is happening and we have a uh, consistency growth in each and every month so that is the one of the positive things according to me now i am coming with the franchisee proposal uh, so we have uh, designed our proposal have a uh, five formats uh, we have a uh, dine uh, dining formats as well as the cloud kitchen format so first i am coming with the bahanam uh, we have a plan for the bahanam 40s cover restaurant where you required the area about 700 to 1000 square feet and uh, uh, the normal as you know that the, the cost for apc for the two person or cost for two person is the minimum 700 rupees and same for the daily voge also 40 covers restaurant where the same uh, area is required but the apc is little bit raised because the bengali food is little bit uh, cheaper than the bahanam food so that's why it's uh, around four uh, six hundred so average so and uh, we also have a cloud option for our bahana as well as the daily voge uh, for the Bahanam, uh, uh, the, you required the kitchen area. This is actually for the kitchen area because you need, no need for the front office or something like that for the dark kitchen or the couch kitchen. So the area required will be 300 to 400 square feet for the both kitchen. And we have a fifth option that somebody can also go with the both. Then uh, you uh, need the little bit more space. It's like 500 to 600. And uh, normally the cuisine we are served in Bahanam, that is the North Indian and Mughlai. And uh, uh, for the daily food, that is the Bengali. And every cuisine is covered the chicken, mutton, and fish. And only the Bengalis uh, have the prawn options. So that is the protein mix we have. So this is the basic uh, five formats we are presenting. <clears throat> now, uh, that is uh, the where we can open uh, this type of restaurant, the options we have, or might be the dark kitchen we have. So that is the highly scalable and acceptable business format. So always mall and retails is the always a good options when uh, people going out to the malls, they prefer to having their spend the hold in the mall, they have the movie, they have marketing, and they also have the food with the family. So mall or might be retail complex is always a very good options. Apart from this, uh, there is a very good option is the airport uh, when people are sitting or sometimes waiting for their flight or something like that. So this can be a good option. And IT perks, because we are mainly focusing on the corporate people who, uh, who have the daily lunch system from us. So this is a very good option for the corporate people. If you have that, then they can order separate time and all, though this is the thing. And the there is another option for any banquet or any budget hotel. There is a good kitchens is there and they can also start that thing. So they have already a little bit of setup or something like that. So then uh, they can just additional setup done by them. <clears throat> and these, uh, this is the best uh, options for the, as if I'm talking about the place where a person can start that thing. So this can be options. Now, these are the region we are very much focused and uh, we are ready to process with that. That is the roadmap. And basically, we prefer, we have already uh, existence uh, for our daily voyage in a three outlet in Kolkata. Uh, one is in the central Kolkata, another is in a sector five, and uh, the another one is the south Kolkata. And uh, apart from uh, this, we are options for a greater Kolkata, like there is a options called Patuli or something like that. Patuli, if you am talking about um, that there is a Goria. So there are many options. 
we prefer to expand in a Kolkata and South Chobish Paragonas and North Chobish Paragonas. There is also options for Hooghly, Howrah. And apart from this uh, Kolkata zone, we are also open for the Darjeeling, Shiliguri, uh, Asansol, uh, Durgapur, Chandan Nagar, Kalani, North Barashat, Shodhpur, Moddhamgram, and Yarpur. So for these locations, we are very much open uh, for our franchisee model, any model they can choose. Now, uh, uh, now I'm uh, coming up with the, the model, the basically the model we are offering, that is the FOFO, uh, that is the franchisee owned and franchisee operated. So these are the parameters uh, and uh, the basically the investment is made by the franchisee and you need to ownership also by the franchisee operations by franchisee revenue to franchisee and obviously the expense also for the franchisee and franchisee get the net profit. So uh, that is a, it's a total business model uh, you should run. And as a company, uh, we take the franchisee fee and royalty and we guide to the every aspect, uh, everything uh, to how to set up a business. So that is the model we are offering. Now next, uh, I am coming with the financial part, which is, uh, I think, much more important. So overall, uh, if I'm talking about the investment thing, so overall, if I'm talking about the total investment thing, the investment is around average, if I'm taking the 20 to 30 lakhs the, for anything you are going with. So if I'm coming about the Bahanam and Delhi Vulture as a restaurant, if I, we are talking about 700 to 1000 square feet total area, and uh, we take 300 as a kitchen, that is uh, more important. And uh, apart from this, the rest part will be the front office and the seating area of the customers. And this is a casual uh, family restaurant, so casual dining thing is happening. And if I'm talking about the cloud kitchen thing for the Daily Boj and the Bahana, we need uh, 350 square feet. And if somebody go with the both the dark kitchen, then the thing is the seven, uh, 500 square feet. And if I'm go to this, uh, that the summary thing. So if you see that there is an interior fit outs, uh, which includes your electricity, your flooring, or uh, whatever the drainage system and everything. And if you are talking about there is a sitting, there is also a visualization, uh, how it will look and feel of the restaurant, everything, the interior part uh, that will be cost for the sitting restaurant is 10 lakh uh, plus. And if you are going to for the cloud options, uh, for the individual cloud, it takes uh, 3 lakhs 50. And for the both dark or cloud option, there is a 4 lakh 50. And apart from there is another cost is called that is the equipment thing, uh, which is a more important uh, and uh, that cost for the uh, daily watch, it's got eight lakhs for Bahanam, it's 10 lakhs. And if you go for the cloud uh, thing, there will be a little bit of less for daily watch and Bahanam that will be eight lakhs around or for the Bahanam and daily watch both goes it's around one, uh, 11 lakhs. So that is the equipment investment. And uh, there is also another thing which is much more important for the maintaining the transparency uh, with every customer as well as the aggregator as well as the company and franchisee. We need a proper POS system with the POS machinery and which is very important uh, for a streamlined operation thing. So we have a cost for that hardware and software for the POS that is one lakh around one lakh ten thousand. And uh, you, for starting a business, you need a stock for an initial three to four days. And there is, should be a pre-opening advertisement. And uh, there is a launch marketing. And uh, there should be a working capital for three months to six months and the property deposit that is given. And uh, now I'm coming with the franchisee fee. So for the individual uh, restaurant, 40 seater restaurant for the daily Bhoj and Bahanam, the franchise fees is six lakhs. Uh, for the cloud kitchen options uh, for Bahanam, individual Bahanam and individual for daily Bhoj is the five lakhs. And if somebody wants to go uh, with the two brands with the uh, dark kitchen mode, so then the franchise will, will be eight lakhs 50. So this is the basically financial snapshot you can say about that thing. And uh, if I'm talking about uh, the 
uh, main thing the so that is uh, i just want to say what is the actual percentage uh, wise if you go through that the analysis thing so there is a main uh, product that is the same there is uh, in our business model uh, for the kitchen purpose we are mainly operated from a central kitchen so we have a uh, 4000 square feet central kitchen uh, in central kolkata uh, where we can prepare our basic requirement of the thing and that will be supplied to our store so uh, the raw material as well as if i am talking about the semi processed certain foods should be semi processed that should be made in the kitchen and that should be uh, go to uh, to the franchise kitchen so that cost around 40% uh, there is a, our royalty that is 5% if i am talking about the marketing cost which is very much important for the dark kitchen as well as for the restaurant that should be 2% of your turnover and if i am talking about the staff that is 12 to 16% and your rent should be 10 to 12% depending on the place you are selecting uh, might say we are selecting so uh, this is a both way thing so and cost for the delivery that will be 8 to 12% and there is a utilities that is 7 to 10% so that is the overall expense now i am coming with the that is the profit and roi thing uh, the net margin will be 8 to 12% definitely that will be basically dependent how much is your wastage and how you control that thing that is very important and uh, i think that will be uh, your earning around inr 1 lakh per month and if i am uh, talking about the roi part that is uh, 21 to 24 months you will get your investment back so that is the basic uh, calculation we have done so now i am going to the next slide so here we want to say uh, we just find out somebody uh, who can run this business and that is the very important thing so we have a certain key list for that basically we are uh, searching some people uh, who are the uh, might be want to start their something own or might be who work some somewhere now they want to start or they want to become a entrepreneur so that can be a very good options or as i told you if somebody have a ready kitchen already or they can run something and now they want to go for the franchise thing with a brand so that is also very much uh, welcome to us apart from this if somebody have a good uh, property uh, nowadays uh, no residential properties is entertained so it's might be high street or mall or in a very good commercial property in a proper place so that can be also uh, come and join uh, hands with us for this thing and we have another options that is called we can say as a large investor that is a multi unit operation where one party can be take uh, minimum three units and that is a very good options because then your opportunity of uh, uh, earning or if i am talking about the opportunity of established your business is little more higher because you have a three options to run the show so uh, this type of options is also available for us where uh, uh thing is that uh, you need a uh, investment like 1 uh, crore uh, to take the minimum 3 units and uh, uh this is the thing and uh, their multi unit operations is also very much efficient when you make your marketing budget or might be your logistic budget or might be if you go for your investment in the equipments or uh, that is uh, for the interior so that is also very uh, much uh, what i say it's a very much lesser if you go for the individual or three or you can get whole three in your bucket so that is the another options we can get from here so now i am moving to my next slides so what as a company uh, what we can give you so that is more important and always the investor want to know so basically we are uh, work like a Uh, you can say as a consultant person to your new business because it's not only our business is a totally it's like our baby so we are nurtured this brand now we want to join hands with the other investor for this same so that's why we are giving you the all uh, if i'm talking about the interior fit out i am taking each and every point and say so the layout the maximum utilizations of your 
property which is selected, what will be the layout, what will be the design, what will be the feel and vibes, how to uh, you can maximize the theme and reduce the cost and everything, the suggestion guide and everything is given by us and layout is also big by our architect and everything So that will be helpful to you. Now I'm coming up with the kitchen setup, which is the most, most important part of any restaurant or any food business or any cloud. So what type of equipment is required? Where should be your drainage system? How to maintain your wastage management thing? Uh, that is the wastage systems, uh, as well as how to place the chimney and the layout design, what are the things is required, and how can you give a good uh, working uh, environment to your staff in that kitchen, because it's a kitchen and there is a every time is a hot or something like that, so how to manage that thing, and the kitchen setup, the design layout, everything is done by us, and we also have a listed vendor for the proper good equipments uh, with proper for servicing so that we also uh, uh, told to the investor to take that thing and uh, there is a final select we also help in the final selection of the manpower if somebody come uh, as a new person who have not prior experience in the same field or might be he want to start something new so always there is a little bit of questions we already have faced that thing how to hire a manpower what type of manpower you should hire what should be the remuneration or what are the care ratio of that manpower so what will be the uh, other things should know how to operate with that proper SOP with the manpower, what should they know. So everything uh, will, will be guide to them. And we are helping out to select the right manpower uh, because the final selection should be done by us for the initial stage that will help to investor to understand how to uh, do that thing. And I think that will be also uh, um, um, what I say that will also maintain our standardization process for our manpower selection. Now I'm coming out with the raw material and semi process uh, supply of the good. Uh, first of all, we have certain standardization or certain portion size standardization for our each and every platter or food or something like that. If I'm talking about the recipe, there is also a standardization. If I'm talking about, if I'm uh, talking about the operational process there is also a little bit of standardization and raw material is a very important part of any food industry so there is certain specification so that should be a guideline should be given to them and repeatedly we all also monitor that should be followed or not because that keep the taste of your food as well as that keep the brand value uh, so that is more important because we don't want to compromise on any quality or quantity so that is also important and most important for a cloud kitchen as well as for the restaurant that is called the marketing because people should know so 360 degree marketing help will be given by the company like social media marketing your pre launch should be designed by us how you approach uh, to the thing and what should be your local marketing that guidelines will be given by us apart from social media we also have a print media tie up and uh, we are in a uh, leading newspaper like uh, in Kolkata, there is a Telegraph, Times of India. And also there is a leading Anundo Bajaj, this is a Bengali uh, newspapers. Uh, and uh, there are a few other good magazine food related. So this type of thing is uh, we are participating. And uh, we also give design different type of marketing or sometimes some events. So this type of a whole, the 360 marketing, what you say, that is there should be a digital print and also the holdings things we have. So everywhere the investor will be mentioned and this type of guideline is definitely given by us because that is very important. So now I'm uh, coming up with that thing, the why people want to be partnered with us. So as we think it's a nowadays, first of thing nowadays home delivery become one of the important part of the food industry and every day it is increasing. Uh, if I'm talking about the West Bengal, uh, people love the Bengali food because the maximum people are Bengalis. And uh, also they have a very, uh, very, very soft corner about the Mughlai and Biryani foods. So uh, 
that is the one of the thing and nowadays the every day the population is increasing and we have a mixed populations so our two brand is very uh, uh, growing like that way the people loving the thing so that is the one of the thing and we already have a little bit of achievement of getting the awards and all and now in uh, city people are also talking about our brand so it's a high time we can grow and join hands with our franchisee friends or might be with our investor for to grow parallelly and uh, there is also a very much demand of that good food and also every day we get the different type of offers from zomatos that uh, you can participate on the home style food your rating is very good and we have a good reviews also so this type of thing is there and nowadays there are very much large young populations as i told you earlier they are work from home and they also prefer a good food at home when they are working in their laptop or something like that so this uh, that's why the delivery thing is very much increasing and we are very much focused from the very first day that this the delivery is the more important thing and that's why we are also planning uh, to uh, start our own delivery and uh, our already we are doing uh, one uh, app for the our customer and that will be launched uh, on the 1st of july then our franchisee owner also get a additional uh, supply chain so that will be also helpful so uh, and uh, we also prefer to give a better service uh, to our customer so that's why you can uh, and we think we can uh, try to grow parallelly as i told you now if i'm talking about the brand strength uh, as i told you already we get a good response we have a wide coverage in a press as well as in a digital platform we are very strong in digital media we have a in facebook instagram uh, as well as we are very uh, we have very frequent press ad in the leading newspaper like telegraph and uh, times of india or anand bazar so there is a thing is there and we also uh, try to change our different menus for the different uh, occasions which also attract uh, the customer because they always people are always love to try something new so uh, so that is also very much appreciated and for that we have a, um, a good team with our chefs as well as i am also 100% involved on that and uh, we also have a management experience as uh, we are the ex corporate uh, so we have uh, know how to uh, do the thing in a corporate manner in a proper manner so that is also important when you run the business because uh, at the end of the day i think your if your sop is right you can achieve your business because that is more important uh, anyone can copies your uh, might be recipe or something like that but if you sop is right then you are will be definitely um, succeed now if i am uh, talking about the franchisee benefit uh, you have a uh, five opportunities and you can select your own which one you want to opt for and uh, it can be scalable anytime you can start with a single one then you can understand the thing then you go for the multiple one these options is also available and there is a cloud kitchen options and it is a very good options if somebody go for the both cloud kitchen options because if i am going uh, point of view of the investment that will be much more lesser if you go for the individual one because your increase the uh, revenue point of view i am thinking about the revenue point of view that will be easily uh, increased and uh, you have a very quick roi uh, that is 18 to 24 months that is pretty well for a business if you start and your normal more or less if i'm going about the overall average investment that is 20 to 30 lakhs so i think it's a good opportunity for any person who want to come and uh, join hands with us now i am going to the next thing uh, i think uh, nothing is says so once again i just say these are the two babies of us that is the bahanam and the daily boj and thank you so much to giving that opportunity uh, to talk about our uh, little two babies so thank you so much sonia ji archana anshul everyone thank you so much
Thank you so much, Dalia ji. I think you have presented the opportunity very beautifully. You have covered every important uh, element aspect and that too in a uh, lot of uh, details. And uh, friends, I will also request you. आप कुछ questions डाल रहे हैं. We'll take up these questions. आप डाल सकते हैं क्यों नहीं box में. And uh, we'll start taking up the questions. So uh, I will also, you know, add. Uh, so we are talking about two opportunities. One is Mehnam, which is a biryani brand, and the other is Daily Bhoj, which is your uh, daily uh, breakfast. Uh, and and is it also all day menu? Uh, yes, uh, yes. Dalia this ji? is also this is also all day menu. You have a breakfast starting with breakfast. Then there is a lunch. There is also snacks options, and apart from there is a dinner. So it's a full all day menu you have. Sure. so we have two options and two opportunities rather i would say and uh, the company while started uh, about uh, two two and a half years back but whatever they have achieved in such a short span of time is really commendable with their coverage and their ratings and and this is because convenient socialization and high quality of food and services something which is still important uh, in the food industry and they created this successful model and they created uh, that uh, prototype ran that for 2 years and now they have readied and perfected the offering uh, for partners to come in so the overall model comes with an investment of 20 to 40 lakhs is what i would say they have also added an element of working capital working capital is the uh, i would say uh, capital which you need to retain with you you don't have to invest in the business but that is something that you keep aside for the initial 3 months uh, which they have taken and that working capital across all the models uh, is about 3 to 10 lakhs and typically jo aapka working capital hota hai isme they have taken rental aapka salaries ho gaya rental ho gaya all that uh, is your operational cost uh, which uh, ideally one should keep aside for the first 3 months and that is because it takes time for any outlet to come to a optimum level and overall area requirement uh, is 300 to 700 square feet uh, depending on uh, the uh, format that you would choose uh, from a cloud kitchen to a sit down and also uh, uh, what you also projected is a revenue between 8 to 12 lakhs uh, with an average uh, profit of 1 lakhs after taking out all the costs so uh, i'll start talia ji with you know uh, first and foremost i think the break up of the investment uh, we have discussed in lot of uh, detail and uh, one question which i like to maybe go little bit in depth is uh, starting with your operating expenses and also the throughput of an outlet agar hum four formats ki baat karte hain we have four formats uh, which are currently being uh, offered to our partners hum ek average usme kya revenue throughput dekh sakte hain and when we talk about 8 lakhs and 12 lakhs kitna time lagta hai cloud kitchen ko ya sit down restaurant ko us level pe uh, aane ke liye if you can talk little bit uh, on uh, this Uh, right. Uh, generally, uh, I'm taking yeah. care of this. Generally, basically, uh, uh, selecting two property from property to launch the brand, it take generally time taking about. कितने uh, fast हम लोग काम कर रहे हैं. Like, uh, अगर property selection हो गया fast fast, then we selecting the how to place the where the kitchen layout we have the fix. Then uh, it take minimum one and a half month, maximum two months. We can launch the brand in the market. ओके एंड मृणाल जी इसमें टाइम जो मैं समझना चाह रही थी इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द रेवेन्यू हमने रेवेन्यू की बात की है कि कितना रेवेन्यू क्लाउड किचन कर सकता है कितना एक हमारा रेस्टोरेंट कर सकता है अगर उसके बारे में भी हम थोड़ा बात कर सकें एंड योर ओन एक्सपीरियंस बिकॉज यू बिन रनिंग बोथ दी फॉर्मेट्स एंड बोथ रेस्टोरेंट अंडर योर नेम तो इसमें एक क्या टाइम लगता है उस रेवेन्यू तक रीच करने के लिए और अगर हम बात करें एक एवरेज थ्रू या एक एवरेज रेवेन्यू जो आपका brand karta hai you know how much revenue would maybe daily bhoj do how much revenue would come from uh, behnam and how long does it take for a franchise partner to reach that aur ek cheez aur mein bhi uh, operating expenses maybe we'll talk that uh, maybe after you uh, cover this i'll pick some questions uh, uh, later haan ji we can start with this very interesting question basically uh, kitna time lagta hai because now daily bhoj and behnam is well accepted in the town right initial day when we were launched the brand that time was very difficult like mere ko jyada marketing cost mere ko jyada population ke paas jana hai i have to invest so much money in the uh, like uh, advertisement, advertisement uh, digital marketing and all now aaj ke date pe bahana man delhi bhoj is well accepted in the market to agar koi franchise in hota hai ya fir main aur koi location pe apna hi koi store kholta hu that break even come very fast क्योंकि मेरा ब्रेक इवन अगर तीन महीना छह महीने में आया है तो फ्रेंचाइज विल गेट द ब्रेक इवन ऑपरेशनल ब्रेक इवन नॉट लाइक रिटर्न ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट बिकॉज पहले तो हमको देखना ऑपरेशनल 
रिटर्न कितना जल्दी फास्ट ला पा रहा हूँ प्रॉफिट उतना कम पैसा घुसेगा बिजनेस में अगर हम लोग तीन से चार महीने के टारगेट में फ्रेंचाइजी को ऑपरेशन एक्सपेंसिस का जो भी है दैट वी कैन गिव द रिटर्न ये और फास्ट बिकॉज हम लोग को तो थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री मार्केटिंग चली रहा है बिकॉज वी आर कवरिंग न्यूज पेपर वी आर कवरिंग डिजिटल मार्केटिंग वी आर कवरिंग ब्लॉगर्स मीट वी आर कवरिंग एवरीथिंग तो इसमें जिससे मेरा भी बेनिफिट हो रहा है मेरा स्टोर के लिए एक मार्केटिंग पे एज लाइक मेरा फ्रेंचाइजी ओनर को भी उतना ही बेनिफिट मिल रहा है बिकॉज मेरे पास इतने क्वेरीज है बिकॉज टूमोरो विल रिलीज वन न्यूज पेपर प्रिंट इन टाइम्स ऑफ इंडिया Hopefully, uh, everyone see the brand tomorrow. Uh, even last week also we launch our Bainam Sam Combo, Family Combo. So, I have queries coming. I have asked from Bihar. 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 To reach the customer, so he right. can or she can feel the flavor of the food. अगर वही food में दो घंटा बाद भेजो तो food का quality खराब हो जाता है. तो that's why we searching the multiple units. Like आज मैं जहाँ पे भी मेरा location है, I can serve at least eight kilometers from my location. तो मैं अगर every eight kilometers भी एक-एक location खोलते जाऊँ, तो मैं total twenty kilometers of Kolkata population को cater कर सकता हूँ. बिल्कुल, बिल्कुल. It's Kolkata and Greater Kolkata. Right, right. So uh, operational expense का return is very fast. Uh, जो मेरे को थोड़ा time लगा था, वो franchise owner को और fast आ जाएगा. and i agree jaise aapne bola initially when you started off you had big investments on marketing advertisement because you had to reach out to a larger audience and wo investment lagi hui hai and that investment is something which your partners or franchisees can benefit from because we ek equity brand ki market mein bani hui hai and people respond to uh, the brand and there is already a demand which has been created so jahan pe bhi hamare outlets khulenge ek added advantage hota hai jo franchise partner ko milta hai now uh, i will also like to uh, understand you know little bit on the operating expenses ki jo hum baat karte hain you know jaise uh, i was also seeing up the slide jisme humne we had taken some percentages against uh, cost of goods uh, usme aapne likha hua tha sari ki sari supply company uh, से आती है ऑलमोस्ट नाइनटी नाइनटी फाइव परसेंट सप्लाईज कम फ्रॉम द कंपनी सो आई विल स्टार्ट विद दी ऑपरेटिंग एक्सपेंसेस फॉर फर्स्ट एंड देन वील गो ऑन टू द सप्लाईज तो जो हमारा ऑपरेटिंग एक्सपेंसेस हैं एंड आई एम श्योर बिकॉज क्लाउड किचन में कुछ एक्सपेंसेस आपके अलग होते हैं डिलीवरी एक्सपेंसेस आपके ज्यादा हो जाएंगे आपकी ऑक्यूपेंसी आपकी कॉस्ट कम हो जाती है और सिट डाउन में आपके डिलीवरी एक्सपेंसेस कम होते हैं सिट डाउन में लोग ज्यादा आते हैं खाने के लिए तो अगर आप थोड़ा बहुत ऑपरेटिंग एक्सपेंसिस के बारे में बता पाएंगे बिटवीन डू यू नो क्लाउड में कितना होता है अगर हम रेस्टोरेंट की बात करें उसमें हमारा क्या करेक्ट फर्स्ट आई टॉकिंग अबाउट द क्लाउड किचन क्लाउड किचन जनरली मेरे को कोई ब्रांड साइनेज वगैरह उतना फोकसिंग नहीं होता है बिकॉज हाँ अगर मेरे को टेक आउट काउंटर मिल जाए देन इट विल रियली हेल्प क्योंकि मैं साइनेज लगा देता हूँ मेरे दुकान के या किचन के बाहर तो वॉकिंग कस्टमर कैन कम एंड टेक अवे देयर फूड तो जनरली अगर क्लाउड किचन आई कैन मेक एनी वेर इन द लोकेलिटी बैक साइड ऑफ द बिल्डिंग फ्रंट साइड ऑफ बिल्डिंग फर्स्ट फ्लोर सेकेंड फ्लोर तो इसमें मेरा रेंटल कॉस्ट भी वेरी लेस लाइक अगर मैं थ्री हंड्रेड टू फोर हंड्रेड स्क्वायर फीट की कोई भी क्लाउड किचन सिलेक्ट करता हूँ देन रेंटल विल बी मैक्सिमम लाइक ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड नॉट मोर देन दैट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड मैक्सिमम एज पर दोकलिटी करेक्ट तो दिस इज आपका एक रेंटल कॉस्ट आ जाता है तीन सौ स्क्वायर फीट में आपको लगता है तीन फ्रिज में भी एक ब्रांड पे जाओ तो यू हैव टू पुट थ्री फ्रिजेस लाइक टू डी फ्रिजेस वन वर्किंग टेप वन चिलर एंड वन द वेजिटेबल स्टोरेज लाइक वीसी कूलर तो चार फ्रिज का मैक्स टू मैक्स एंड एवरीथिंग चिमनीज लेके आपका इलेक्ट्रिसिटी कॉस्ट भी मैक्सिमम टेन टू ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड पर मंथ एंड नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट योर मैन पावर बिकॉज इसमें बेनिफिट फ्रेंचाइजी ओनर को या फिर मेरा भी नेक्स्ट स्टोर पे क्या मिलता है बिकॉज माई सेंट्रल किचन इज एक्टिव वहां पे मेन हेड शेफ हेड कुक आर देयर बिकॉज दे मेकिंग द फुल एटी परसेंट द प्रोडक्ट तो फ्रेंचाइजी ओनर या फिर मेरा भी सेकेंड स्टोर क्या कर रहा है उसमें जस्ट मिक्स कर रहा है वार्म कर रहा है या फिर जस्ट मिक्स इट करके एटी परसेंट को हंड्रेड परसेंट डाउन करके खाना छोड़ रहा है तो मेरे को जो मैन पावर कॉस्ट इट्स लाइक हेड शेफ रखना नहीं है मेरे को मैनेजर्स रखना नहीं है मेरे को लाइक सिटी पीस रखना नहीं है इफ आई सिलेक्ट इन रेस्टोरेंट वर्ल्ड लाइक कॉमी टू कॉमी थ्री इज मोर देन इनफ देयर सैलरीज लाइक एट थाउजेंड टू ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड 
So in cloud kitchen, in one brand or two brand, like we need only seven to eight manpowers to run the show. So in this, my salary is very less, like in cloud kitchen model, or else like any franchisee model who uh, have a central kitchen Support. who supply the food, who supply the raw material, who supply the basic ingredients, right? So right? right? here, your salaries may be in a single brand or the both brand would be like eighty thousand to. One lakh rupees, depending on the delivery orders. If because our delivery, uh, if I deliver hundred, if I sell hundred plates in a day, uh, in my, I, my own delivery would be forty percent. This is highly appreci appreciating because we get we can earn more profit from direct deliveries. Right, right. right. We get us. We did not give any commission. Right. So the the salary will be eighty thousand to one lakh rupees. This is the main your operating cost. Correct. Next is your. Ah, uh, this is your salary, sir. Ma'am, this is twenty-two thousand, eighty thousand is your fixed cost. This is your salary, sir. Ma'am, this is your twenty-two thousand, eighty thousand is your fixed cost. This is your salary, sir. Ma'am, this is your twenty-two thousand, eighty thousand is your fixed cost. This is your salary, sir. Ma'am, this is your twenty-two thousand, eighty thousand is your fixed cost. This is your salary, sir. Ma'am, this is your twenty-two thousand, eighty thousand is your fixed cost. This is your salary, sir. Ma'am, this is your twenty-two thousand, eighty thousand is your fixed cost. This is your salary, sir. Ma'am, this is your twenty-two thousand, eighty thousand is your fixed cost. तो एक कड़ी बनाने के लिए क्या चाहिए तो किचन आपको सप्लाई कर रहे हैं उसके लिए जनरली कॉस्टिंग अबाउट थर्टी फाइव परसेंट टू फोर्टी परसेंट फोर्टी परसेंट मैक्सिमम थर्टी फाइव परसेंट टू फोर्टी परसेंट डिपेंडिंग ऑन द प्रोडक्ट इफ यू सिलेक्ट लाइक आई जस्ट नेम वन फिश इन बेंगाल इज अ वेरी वेरी एक्सपेंसिव फीस द नेम क्वीन फिश क्वीन ऑफ द फिश लाइक हिलशा इज अ वेरी कॉस्टली फीस तो दैट For hilsa fish, maybe your costing would be forty percent. In mutton, maybe costing would be thirty-eight percent. In chicken, maybe costing would be thirty-six percent. In vegetable, maybe costing would be thirty-five percent. Like that way. So, you are how much sell you are doing? On that, your operating uh, like raw material will be uh, consumed. Like, if you have to sell ten lakh, karna hai, then you need four lakh rupees uh, costing of the food. So, if you have to sell ten lakh, sell karna hai, then you need forty percent of the food. Like that way. So, this one lakh to one lakh. थर्टी थाउजेंड टू वन लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड इज योर रिकरिंग कॉस्ट जो आपको वर्किंग कैपिटल के तौर पर रखना है तीन महीने के लिए पॉकेट में बस दैट सॉल्व देन वी कैन टेक केयर ऑफ बिकॉज वी हैव ऑलरेडी क्लाइंटल बेस कहीं पर भी हम लोग खोलते वी हिट द मार्केट थ्रू आर बिगर एडवर्टाइजमेंट लाइक प्रिंट मीडिया लाइक डिजिटल मीडिया लाइक एग्जिस्टिंग कस्टमर ब्रॉडकास्टिंग लाइक ब्लॉगर्स तो उसमें मेरा डे वन पे ना वी गेट अ सेल लाइक आज अगर मेरे को नाइन लैख का ब्रेक इवेंट या मेरे को सिक्स लैख में ब्रेक इवेंट पहुंचना है तो हैव टू डू ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड पर डे बिकॉज येस वी डू फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड एवरेज इनिशियली बट सैटरडे संडे इट विल बिकॉज एवरी टाइम एवरी वीक वी लॉन्च या मीडिया लॉन्च Uh, in Friday or Saturday, Sunday, then that day we achieve massive sale. That will give you the extra uh, mileage. And one more thing, I have to uh, say, my invest uh, participant, like we will launch our own delivery portal. This is very interesting. Uh, we will talk with some biggest uh, delivery uh, partner, who who will make the application and all. Jungle Works, right? The they will make our application for this. Who will connect with Google Map and all? Who will uh, even? We will not uh, take any burden for the delivery agent. Who will outsource like Swiggy Zomato is doing? Who will hire hire from the our market uh, like delivery agent partner like Shadow Facts and all? So then we will targeting our like. I give you twenty percent, twenty two percent. I just give you the brief idea about the business, uh, in and out. What is apple to apple calculation? Q based business पे जाऊँगा कहाँ पे मेरा profit है? हाँ अगर कोई सोचेगा कि मेरे को एक दिन में profit चाहिए, कोई business पे एक दिन में profit नहीं आता. You have to work hard. You have to manage your business every day. अगर कोई भी owner सोचता है बस मैंने investment कर दिया, now uh, franchisee uh, company will uh, run the show. No boss. You have to involve your business. You have to get idea each and every point because we are the owner. We involve twenty four into seven. In Kolkata, we have a one store in sector five is open twenty four into seven because we are uh, because in sector five this is the IT zone because the main sale will be come from night after twelve to six o'clock. This is a very uh, uh, good part. Give you the good sale. अगर लोकेशन उतना अच्छा होगा देन वील ओपन ट्वेंटी फोर इंटू सेवन अगर लोकेशन थोड़ा सा स्लो है जहाँ पे ब्रेकफास्ट जा वी कैन प्लान अकॉर्डिंगली कैसे कैसे कौन सा लोकेशन लोग चूज करें आवर प्रोडक्ट इज मिक्स प्रोडक्ट लाइक कॉर्पोरेट पे भी जाता है हाउस होल्ड पर भी जाता है बहुत लाइक एजेड लोग जिसके पास मेड नहीं है जिसके पास पेरेंट्स आर स्टेइंग हेयर एंड लाइक चिल्ड्रेन एंड आउट साइड इन द इंडिया इसे भी मेरे पास लाइक सब्सक्रिप्शन भी आता है कि दे गिव सब्सक्रिप्शन फॉर मंथ 
मैंने आपको सब्सक्रिप्शन दे दिया आप तीन टाइम का खाना भेज देना ब्रेकफास्ट टू डिनर तो वी हैव ऑप्शन आल्सो दिस दिस इज अ लाइक फुल प्रूफ ऑफ बिजनेस लाइक इन पैंडेमिक टाइम द एवरी सिटीज एवरी स्टेट हैज गेटिंग द लॉकडाउन इन लास्ट मार्च टू जून इवन वी आर इन टू स्टीम इन लॉकडाउन इन कोलकाता लाइक ट्वेंटी वर्क फोर्स कैन रन द बिजनेस बट नाउ दिस मंथ ऑल्सो मार्च मंथ ऑल्सो वी हैव डन एक्सिलेंट बिजनेस लाइक रैपिड ग्रोथ हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड कस्टमर um as in how long a customer has to wait you know i think he's talking about the prep time and then obviously the delivery for time if it is in the restaurant uh, and if it's delivery time that's over and above so do cheeze hain uh, i'll repeat one is supply chain ha uh, kya kya aapki taraf se aayegi aur kis form mein wo supply chain aayegi aur usme kya requirement because aapne bataya you don't need any kind of specialized chef right? yes, yeah, anybody can be trained uh, isme koi specialization nahi chahiye uh, sari preparation aapki taraf se hogi and uh, outlet pe jayegi both cloud as well as the restaurant and uh, the other question is uh, from uh, mr harshil dayal ji he is asking about the preparation time for biryani so now i am uh, taking care of that the preparation time if i am talking about the preparation time of the biryani so our process is little bit different so that's why it takes uh, when you getting the order and uh, you have to deliver the order to the delivery boy or uh, at the table of the customer so at it is take around 25 minutes mm -hmm. the full process should be done so basic prep should be done previously but the assembling and the dump thing the biryani dump so that will be done when you getting that order so this type of things and there is a, a certain standardization certain quantity measurement how much rice you have to take how much ghee you have to put how much uh, essence you have to put how much masala and how to make uh, how much time you need to give the dum there is a certain sap standard is fixed you have to follow that thing and you have to done and uh, if somebody follow the thing of the which is written in the sop and it is very easy anyone can make that thing it you didn't uh, need not any specialized safe fish required but for the monitoring of the whole thing we always prefer there should be a knowledgeable person for the better service to our customer so that is the thing and if i am talking about the supply chain management if you are in a kolkata we have a certain specified vendor for our vegetables as well as our uh, protein products that is fish or chicken or mutton or prawn or something like that and uh, apart from this there is also a specific vendor for the grocery and apart from this we need one more thing that is called semi processed food like if i am talking about uh, there is uh, different types of masalas uh, in a very specific way somebody says it's a some types of curry masalas if you are, somebody have a north indian idea there is a different types of gravies so these gravies are made in our central kitchen and also in our recipe book or if you are talking about in our sop that is given for a individual portion size how much this gravy should be put when you cook that uh, particular thing if i am talking about the chicken bhatta so how much uh, yellow gravy you should put uh, in that chicken bhatta and how much chicken you have to put that should be written in the recipe so you have to follow that and this gravy will made in our central kitchen and there is a certain specific size like 1 kg packet or might be 2 kg packet that should be sealed and that there should be a expiry date that you should keep that thing for the 3 days or 5 days and how to procure that that is also given so that we will send to the customer but if i'm talking about the outside of the kolkata if uh, if somebody interested from shiliguri or durgapur then mainly we are preferring we have to find out a local vendor as per our standardization for the vegetables raw material and grocery thing and the specific masalas that is the dry masalas as well as the gravies that should be make in our central kitchen and that should be sent uh, for the might be in a week or in a 15 days as per the demand generated from the uh, franchise owner or the investment investment partner so like that way that's very helpful dalia and since friends we come close to our webinar session i will request all of you if you think any questions that you would want to have uh, 
a detailed discussion or would want to meet uh, Dalia ji and Rinal ji and also maybe visit uh, one of the locations they are running, especially the one in the IT play sector five, which is 24 hours, we would welcome all of you to have a visit at uh, that particular location. And we will also welcome any questions that you might have one-to-one uh, -one, and we'll uh, organize a discovery day to undertake any kind of uh, visits uh, at the outlet or even a telephonic or a Zoom call. So the date that we have decided is 1st of July, which is next week, where we'll undertake uh, any kind of uh, inquiries one-to-one -one, or even uh, a date uh, where we can even bring some prospective investors to experience the outlet, taste the food. You know, that is something I would encourage everybody who's from Kolkata locally and can do that. We like to facilitate that for you. And before we close, I will also request Dalia Ji, Minar Ji, any last words that you have for the audience uh, who's listening to you? Uh, uh, thank you. First of all, I uh, thanks everybody. We joined this webinar as well as the uh, franchisee India, uh, Sonia Ji, Archana and Anshul to arranging this thing. Thank you so much. And uh, we are very uh, thoughtful as well as uh, we are very positive on that. Uh, hope people will like our presentations and uh, let's see what we can do. And I think in this situation, in the, if we join hand with our investor or our franchisee partner, that will be win-win situation for both of us and uh, hope for the best and thank you so much. That's all for today. <laughs> Great. Thank you so thank much, you. Dalia Ji. Thank, thank you so you, much, thank you much. Thank you. And I'd like to thank all our friends who have joined in today. And I'll request Ashna to kindly take over for uh, the closing remarks. Sure. So thank you so much, Dalia. Thank you so much, Mirnal, for joining in today. The kind of the effort you have put in for the dry run as well as for this particular webinar. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much, Sonia, ma'am, for sparing time and joining us today. We would like to thank all the dear participants, viewers, for showing your interest in this opportunity. We try to give answers of few of the queries still. If unanswered, please connect with us at our business hotline number, which is 9717683838. You have chance to have direct interaction, one-to-one -one interaction with the team uh, on 1st of July, which is every day. Please book your slot with us so that we can uh, have a proper scheduling for you. Also connect with us at different social handles. We are available at Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. You wish to revisit, rewatch this particular webinar or previously done webinar, you can go to video library of Franchise India Brands Limited. You wish to join Gaurav Sir and Sonia Ma'am at their respective LinkedIn IDs, information on your screen. The entire team of Franchise India is there to help you with best of the business solutions. And today, under our Bharat Franchise Show, we are celebrating our 25th day and we are inviting you to join us for YZ chapter. The webinar will start sharp at 7 p.m. And we have invited top six business opportunities, six business brands representatives so that you can interact with them. So please do registration today, either at our business hotline number or at the Facebook page. And tomorrow under business opportunity over webinar series, we are inviting you to join us for Generation Next Retail Franchise Show. As in the beginning explained by Sonia Ma'am, we have invited top brands to showcase their business model with you. So please do registration today so that you can join us for our respective programs. Thank you so much once again for joining in today. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Stay safe. Thank you, friends. Thank you. Thank you, Dalia Ji. Bye. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Take care. Thank Bye. You. Thank you. Take care. Bye.